Hey, good morning, everyone. I am coming to you from a beautiful little piece of paradise in the northwest corner of Madagascar. It is on Jajavi. This place is absolutely stunning from a visual standpoint, but what's really important to me here is that it's important from a conservation standpoint. So they're all about biodiversity. They're all about making sure that humans, plants, and animals can live together, and that's why we came here. When we were in North Carolina at the Duke University Lemur Center, we got to work with Lydia and Marina, two of the lemur researchers there that have been in Madagascar for the past two months. And now they're up here in Anshijavi and we've come to join them and learn all about what they have learned coming across Madagascar from the, the south all the way up into the north and northwest where we currently are. In just the last two days, we've only been here 48 hours. It is a astounding to me, the biodiversity, the plants and the animals that we've already encountered. So just within the first few hours, we were able to spot a beautiful Madagascar ground boa. Then we went out and we saw critically endangered cockerels, shafox, families of them in the trees, just freely ranging, doing what lemurs do. We've been able to take a boat ride to see one of the most critically endangered birds on earth. Only about 300 of these birds remain. Madagascar fish eagles. We took a boat ride around that bay where they're known to make their nests and raise their young, and we did in fact spot one. We stopped off at a village, a village that works hand in hand with the lodge at Anjajavi to make sure that the conservation efforts here are successful, and they are. So wait till you see some of these, these beautiful Malagasy people that we've been able to walk and talk with and just share a little bit about their lives on a daily basis. Oh, and the woodworking here? We got a surprise for you on that end as as well. Night walks. So lemurs are so unique, so diverse. There are over a hundred species. Diurnal, daytime, nocturnal, nighttime. We took a nighttime walk. We were able to spot some of the lemurs that are known to inhabit these forests, the dwarf mouse lemurs, and one in specific that we were hopeful we would see. We didn't think we would because it's very elusive. And that creature, we'll have to show you what that is beautiful lemur. It is a rare lemur, one of the most critically endangered ones as well. And then there's something that I really, really wanted to see. It's called a fusa, or in English, a fossa. It's a unique creature that looks a little bit like a mountain lion and a mongoose. There's nothing else like it. It's its own species, its own uh, animal. It doesn't fit into any other genre. So we were able to spot the telltale markings of a fusa and we'll show you what that is as well. And that's just in two and a half days in Madagascar. We still have Indonesia and the extremely rare Sumatran tiger to get to. We're gonna show you all of that. That's it for now from Anjajavi, Madagascar.